Our facility doesn't have the flexibility, it doesn't have the infrastructure, and in some cases it's detrimental to what we're trying to teach our kids right now. Air quality, HVAC, the electrical system is not up to code, the plumbing system is not up to code. It's not ADA compliant, there's poor ventilation, poor lighting. Uh, if you look at the problems with the physical you know, building in terms of walls, windows, roofs, uh, there's, uh, its energy uh, consumption is way above what it should be. Down in the trades hall, they have walls that don't fully reach the ceiling, so there's a lot of echoing and it's hard to hear in there. And I know environmental science and technology is on the third floor, which makes it very difficult for us to carry stuff up and down the stairs. We have basically six levels to this building. It's spread across 330,000 square feet. It's like a maze. It's confusing. It's all up and down. There's at least six tarps and probably seven five-gallon buckets hanging from the rafters to catch the leaks so they don't come down onto the gym floor so the students don't slip during gym class or sporting events. We have other um, areas of the building where there simply isn't enough natural light. There's not many windows around here. It's almost like a jail cell, but I think they have more windows than we do. We have a building that is stuck in 1975. If the building were to be improved and then the programs could improve even more so than they already are, I think that it would help because then towns could send more kids here and the kids could get like a much better experience. We have a duty to provide to our students our kids, our grandkids, a 21st century learning environment just like they would have if this school sat in your town. We want a building that honors the unique and varied learning styles of our children. If you don't do anything, you're saying we're not going to fulfill on uh, our commitment and endorsement from the school committee on the educational program specifications, that we're not going to take care of our building, that we're not invested in the future of Minuteman.